you need help and you have a friend who knows how to dress, you know, reach out to him. Hey, friend, you know, can you help me out? This, you know, I have people, even some of my best friends, they'll send me pictures. Friend, how this look? How this? You know what I'm saying? Because one thing about me, I tell people, you're not going to go out with me looking any kind of way because I don't play that. Like, that's the one, like, one, even if I'm running to the store, I'm not, I'm going to put my hair back in a ponytail. I'm going to look decent because you, like my mother used to tell us, you don't know who knows who, who, who's your, who knows your parents or anybody. Then on top of that too, especially not, not to glow, but with my following, I'm now people be like, oh, that's how she looks. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and it, and it ain't, I might not have makeup on all the time, but I'm going to look like I showered and, you know, I'm not going to have a scarf and some house shoes on like, uh, I don't need to get me started, but yes. <laughs> the biggest thing for me on my page and for how I dress, I can only speak for Sierra Levine, how I dress and how I maneuver on my page is I don't ever want to give off that uh, that kind of negative, excuse me, whorish vibe. Mm-hmm. Like that's just not what I, cause that's just not me. Yeah. Like when people come to my page, regardless if I might shake a tail feather, do a little something, whatever, but I don't want you like, oh, she, mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I don't ever want to get off that vibe. Yeah. I love for people. I love, that's why a lot of times when I'm doing my reels, you know, you see, I'm putting outfits together. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of reels doing that. I'm working with different brands because I'm, you know, whatever, but there, I'm just showing different ways of how you can put outfits together or what you can wear. And a lot of the stuff too, even with shorts or skirts or whatever, I feel like I still look cute and sexy. You know what I'm saying? With my skirt on or with my whatever. So, yeah, mm-mm. I don't ever want to get off, give off that vibe of, oh, she's easy because I'm not. I hope that you're the one and that you are the prototype. Well- are you a content creator, YouTuber? Maybe you've interviewed someone on your video podcast and they said something that was really, really good. Or maybe you said something that was really, really good. Well, enter Opus Clips. This is the platform that I use when I wanna share 30 to 60 second video clips that I can share with the whole world. I mean, you can share those clips on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram reels, like these 30 to 60 second clips that Opus Clips can give to you with the click of a mouse. All you have to do is upload the recording and boom, Opus Clips within maybe 10 minutes will give you 15 to 25 different clips with description on the side of the video. And it also gives you like a title and it gives you a rating and let you know how powerful that clip can be used on social media from a rating of 99 all the way down to maybe 60. This is a phenomenal platform that has took my social media marketing to another level. If you want to level up your social media game, go in the description below right now and get the link for Opus Clips. This will not disappoint you. Fashion, women's clothing, this is going to be an interesting topic to me. I, I I have a special guest with us today, and I want to talk about first date impressions. What 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 would you wear on the first date? What do people think when you're on the first date? We're going to talk about that and so much more on this segment of It's Scary to Be Mary. What's up, Brave Arts community? This is Sean Heineman, your premier pre-engagement coach, back with another segment of It's Scary to Be Mary, inspiring you to love fearlessly. We have a returning guest. She is no stranger, Bravehearts community. She is a mom, coffee lover. I know she loves her Starbucks. She's a creative and she has a huge following on TikTok and Instagram. I found her on, on TikTok one day and the energy is amazing. I want to be on her level one day. Bravehearts community, let's show some love to Sierra Levon. How are you doing this evening? I am doing great. How are you? I am good. Thanks again for coming back because the first show did really well and I was excited about that. And I was like, we just, we we have to uh, do this conversation on women's fashion and, you know, what you wear. Because I was looking at some of your videos and I see with the different outfits and stuff like that. And I'm just like, okay, that's dope. That's cool. So I want to jump into this. 
who where did you get your uh your sense of fashion from oh wow so i don't necessarily i don't have a specific person or anything where i get my fashion from now there are people who i see and i'll be like oh that's so dope like and i'll say like tiana taylor she's one of my favorites i love the way she dressed i love how she puts stuff together but like i don't have a I mean, besides her, I wouldn't say necessarily her, but I just, it's different people that, that inspire me. And so, um, and, and also the biggest thing for me is, and I've always been like that, been like this. I just don't like to look like everybody else. I like to wear it my way, how I want it, how I put it together. And that's to me, in my opinion, others may think different. I feel like style is what you make it. Style is how you put it together. And that's why I say like, the biggest thing for me is like my like, for example, my mom, she is so stuck in, oh, they don't match. They don't match. And I'm like, girl, you don't have to match nowadays. Like <laughs> and so, so the biggest thing for me is I just like to just be different. I don't want to look like everybody else. And so I'm inspired by a lot of different people. I can't really say specifically, um, but I just like I, I'm inspired by just from different people, mm -hmm. different things. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. And now and I guess I'm telling my age. I'm just stuck in dressing like my, my colors have to match. <laughs> That's fair. And, and I feel like it's all about the person. And I say that because it, it's the person and the person's personality. So like for me, I'm a daredevil. So I'm I'm willing to try something different. And, you know, like and for, and what's so crazy is my daughter, she's the total opposite of me. So like she is like real simple. She don't like to do too much. She has her own style. I don't. I let her do whatever she want to do, but I feel like it's just the person, the person's personality. How it's, it could be how they were raised too, because you know if you you know still just stuck and you. I'm not gonna say stuck. I don't want to say stuck, but I'm just saying like it's just. I think it just depends on the person. So, and I'm just always willing to try different stuff. So that's why, like, when people ask me, "Can you help me find an outfit? Can you this?" and I I always ask them, "Are you willing to try something different?" Because I'm not just gonna do something like simple. I'm going to put like some patterns together or, you know, just something different. So are you willing to come out your comfort zone? Yeah. That's what I. Mm. That's a good answer. Cause recently I just realized that my wife was, and, and I get a lot of compliments on like green all of a sudden. And I'm like, green. I'm like, <laughs> that's my favorite color. <laughs> green. That's my favorite color. So yes. Yeah. And so you've been wearing green. I just started wearing green. So, so what color, like, so what, so what kind of color guy are you? What do you um, stay in? Red and blue, like classic. Um, I like orange, <laughs> but this whole green thing is like, now I'm finding myself like, okay, this is green. I guess I can wear this. So, so like, did you, was it inspired by your wife or did you just randomly wear some green and then? Uh, it was inspired by her. She's my style. Okay. Like, I don't okay. know. Okay. Yeah. That's right, wifey. <laughs> Yeah, I don't I don't have anything in my closet I didn't get everything she got. And I'm cool with that, you know. So that's and see, I like my best friend, one of my best friends, her husband, he's like real just chill, low-key, and that's how she'll go and get his stuff and you know, put him together and stuff too. I like that. That's cool too. But yeah, you know yeah. me, I'm the child. Now black, I will say black. I love black. Like every single time I'm shopping here lately, it's just I'm always going to something black. Like, I just be like, oh, I'll be trying to go to colors, but I just, I love black. You can't ever go wrong with black. That's true. You can't so, ever go wrong with black. Can't go wrong. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you feel any pressure to dress a certain way on a first date? Well, honestly, I feel like it depends on what, what y'all doing. That's what I base, you know, I base it off, I base it off of. Um, but me, my, this is my, my go-to outfit is a cute white collar shirt tied up with either some cute little fitted bell bottoms or some cute fitted jeans, because I feel like you can dress it up or dress it down. And if you know me, you know, I'm a tennis shoe girl. I love me some tennis shoes. Yeah. So um, if I can wear tennis shoes, I'll, I'll do that. But you can't go wrong. And the older that I'm getting, the more simple my outfits are getting. Mm -hmm. So like, I just find like it's just easy. Like like I said, cute white collar shirt, cute jeans. You can wear a cute look baseball hat and some heels. If you it depends on where y'all going. 
That's, it all just depends on what y'all plant, what y'all plant. Got you. I agree. So where would you, what's the idea of first date? Like, where would you like to go? Would you like to go to maybe an amusement park? I don't know. Like, where okay. would you like to go? I'm glad that you asked because I tell people, um, when this comes to dating, I feel like your first date is like a meet and greet. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, you, you're talking, you're going to, first, I tell people, don't take me to the movies. Do not take me to the movies. Yeah. <laughs> I am an easy girl. You can literally take me to Starbucks. We can sit and talk. I'm good. Mm -hmm. We can go get some ice cream. We can go walk a trail. We can go. I, and, and I think the thing that sucks is that social media has put these high expectations on a first date. And it's so crazy to be talking about this because I was going to make a post on my Instagram about this. It's so sad that the expectations are up here. We need a $500 dinner date. We need flowers. We need an outfit. We got to get our hair. In. Like, I'm just like, come on, y'all. At the most to me, 50 to to $100 at the most, if that. Yeah. But I feel like it just depends on the person. Like, like I said, the first date should be a cute look. I mean, cool look, meet and greet. We talk. We might do an activity. Mm -hmm. You can take me to an arcade. But I, I want it to be interactive, though. Yeah. It needs to be interactive. I don't want to be having a whisper. Don't mm -hmm. take me to the Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it almost kind of defeats the purpose, right? It's like you want to get to know the person. I mean, you know. exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, because um, in first dates, it's like everything like that, that first time meeting someone. And again, when you're talking to someone on a date for the first time, trying to spend five hundred dollars and not know if this relationship is going to go anywhere. You know what? It is. It really irritates me, Like again, that we have put these high expectations on a first date yeah. like and, and then the thing about it is what if it don't work out that's right what if it, and, and so now you didn't got this man a 500 dollars because you majority of the time you're gonna be posting up because you want people to see the aesthetics you want people to know that you there like come on now you, you just be just be a foodie if you that's the case and just go visit the restaurant but i'm just saying i think it just sucks that Social media has put these high expectations on a first date. First date should just be easy peasy. Now, second date, we can step it up a little bit. Gotcha. We can step it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Got it. No, I <laughs> totally agree. I get it. Because, you know, it's like, okay, we're showing a little more interest, you know. So I get exactly. that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Where did you take your, your wife on the first date? First date. Where did we go? Uh, ooh, I can't even remember. <laughs> Cause, because actually our first date, because I flew out to Houston. Okay. To so she's from see. Houston. Yeah. She from, well, okay. she, yeah, yeah. She, yeah. I, I relocated from Arizona. That's what Houston. I'm talking about. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we, we married in Arizona, but then we moved uh, to yeah, Austin, Texas. Yeah. So I'm trying to think, where did we, I think we went to painting with a twist. We went to. Okay. Yeah. That's, like, that's fun. Mm -hmm. That's fun too. Something yeah. like that. It's interactive. I like that. Yeah, that's where we went. Like yep. Uh, so um, what kind of tips can you give to women on how to dress with their confidence and uh, how to feel empowered on dates? Like, what are some good fashion tips that you can give for women to, to boost their confidence? Well, one, I always be comfortable in what I want you to wear something that you're comfortable in. Mm -hmm. that's one mm -hmm. <clears throat> excuse me two there's nothing you can be sexy and covered you don't have to have everything all out um and again i think it just depends on the person because there is there's some stuff that i just won't wear and i'll see it on somebody and i'm like oh, okay it looks cute on her but again i think it just all depends on the person mm -hmm. but whatever you wear be confident in it um and then also too like again you can be sexy and covered the most sex you might do just a little cleave. You might do a little cleave or some fitted jeans so you shape. But <clears throat> you want to your first impression. You you know you want to make a good first impression. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that too, I think about you know if I'm out with somebody and I got on my butt is hanging out some shorts and you know they just like ah that's what, you know what I'm saying. Now if we been dating for seven eight months in the summertime and I'm wearing shorts, that's a different story. You know what I'm saying. Right. But first dates. We want to make sure that we show them, hey, we the one. Mm -hmm. We it, okay? We come. We didn't come to play. 
Yeah. <laughs> No, for sure. I get it because uh, you can see some people, like you say, the 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 first day you want to leave an impression. And if we are yeah. together for a while, you know, we, we you know we connected, so it's all good. Yeah, so, you can you can. And then, and then also too, I, like I said, I just if you need help and you have a friend who knows how to dress, you know reach out to them and, hey, friend, you know, can you help me out? This, You know, I have people, even some of my best friends, they'll send me pictures. Friend, how this look? How this, you know what I'm saying? Because mm. one thing about me, I tell people, you're not going to go out with me looking any kind of way because I don't play that. Like, that's the one, like, one, even if I'm running to the store, I'm not, I'm going to put my hair back in a ponytail. I'm going to look decent because, you like, my mother used to tell us, you don't know who knows who, well, who's your, who knows your parents or anybody. Then on top of that too, especially not not to glow, but with my following, I'm out and people be like, oh, that's how she looks. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and, it, and it ain't, I might not have makeup on all the time, but I'm gonna look like I showered and you know, I'm not gonna have a scarf and some house shoes on, like uh, don't even get me started. But yes. <laughs> no, that's a whole conversation. I heard listen, <laughs> listen. I see it every day on the plane. So you don't don't even get me started. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My my uh, my old pastor in in Cleveland, Ohio. He said you'd have missed out on your husband because you got on SpongeBob pajama pants or in a bonnet. In a bonnet. <laughs> like, come on now. And I and, and I just even as grown adults and like I try try to put that tell my daughter the same thing. <clears throat> don't be out here with no scarf on your head doing all that stuff because you don't know who knows me. Like, come on now. And it ain't even like I said. You don't have to be dialed up, but look presentable mm -hmm. let's just look presentable that's all yeah yeah <laughs> because there's some guys who are actually intimidated when a woman is looking nice i, I agree yeah right like if she's at the grocery store i mean you're gonna be picking up a couple of items and you know you're not wearing you know your your, your greatest outfit but you're looking nice you're looking presentable and some guys, they like, oh, man, she she might be a little too fine or she might be a little too confident or because uh, I hear a lot of women say when I'm dressed up, nobody approaches me. But when I got on my my sweats, guys coming out the woodwork. Well, it seems it, it seems as if nowadays men, <clears throat> excuse me, men are loving the more natural look I'm I'm, I'm hearing I'm been hearing from me and they're like in the more natural look which is cool which is fine um the people the men that i don't really care for are the ones that you don't even need to wear makeup you don't have to wear makeup well i don't wear makeup for other people i wear makeup because i like makeup you know what i'm saying like but anyways um but yeah it's like men are starting to like the more natural look i mean i've got hit on both ways so i think it's just all depends on you know where you at and who you know who the person is yeah you see era it's like you know people gonna come oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so we kind of talked about this a little bit and i want to talk about this in detail so do you believe certain outfits can send a specific message in a dating context oh for sure mm. oh for sure i really really I, oh for sure like again to each his own mm -hmm. There's just some stuff that, I, especially like I okay from home. I follow a lot of pages that um, you know lounges and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And the pictures that I be seeing from some of them, I be like, Ugh, "This is what y'all wear?" I mean, because it looks cheap. You know, some of the stuff looks cheap, and that's the thing. Like, I think again, it depends on the person and how they put it together. But there is just some stuff I just will not wear because I don't even want to give off that kind of, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. I don't want to give that kind of vibe off as if I'm easy going if I'm this like mm -mm. so yes I really do think some of the stuff and how you dress um but again I uh, you don't you can be sexy and you know I think a lot of times these women they're like well which I'm all for women and you know really being open and free and just you know yeah. dressing how they want to dress I'm not trying to tell nobody mm -hmm. how to dress but I do feel like some stuff because there are women who are half naked and they're just so confident and they're like I'm not doing this for I mean I do this because this is my page this is this and I'm just like okay well go ahead girl do your thing but the biggest thing for me on my page and for how I dress I can only speak for Sierra Levine how I dress and how I maneuver on my page is I don't ever want to give off that 
uh, that kind of negative, excuse me, whorish vibe. Mm -hmm. Like that's just not what I, cause that's just not me. Yeah. Like when people come to my page, regardless if I might shake a tail feather, do a little something, whatever, but I don't want you like, Oh, she, get, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I don't ever want to get off that vibe. Yeah. I love for people. I love, that's why a lot of times when I'm doing my reels, you know, you see, I'm putting outfits together. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of reels doing that. I'm working with different brands cause I'm, you know, whatever, but there I'm just showing different ways of how you can put outfits together or what you can wear. And a lot of the stuff too, even with shorts or skirts or whatever, I feel like I still look cute and sexy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? With my skirt on or with my whatever. So yeah, mm -mm, I don't ever want to give, give off that vibe of, oh, she's easy because I'm not. Yeah, because I was going to say, because and tell me what you think about this. Okay. Sometimes, uh, shoot, most of the times, men see women dress a certain way. And again, there's no disrespect. However you dress is how you dress. But from a man's perspective, a lot of times he's gonna be like, "Oh, let me slide in the DM," you know, and you know she she went and, and I don't she, exactly, and that's the thing. Like, I don't ever want to give off that vibe of, as if I'm easy or I'm one of them because I'm not. Yeah, like that's just not me. And I think you know when people have conversations with me because I'm really blunt. <laughs> I'm really blunt. So and I'm real. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you, I'm a straight shooter, so I'm gonna tell you. But when people have the conversation, they be like, oh, okay, yeah. And I've had men tell me, you are intimidating, you are intimidating, which I don't try to be, but it's just that, you know, to me, I feel like when you get to a certain age, you know what you want, you know, all the small talking, I ain't even gonna do it with you, bro. A lot of times these men come to my inbox, what do you want? <laughs> hey, how you doing, beautiful? What do you want? <laughs> So they just, they just, hey, beautiful you. That's all, that's all they do. I, oh no, you'll be surprised at the stuff that I get. I can't even say it on this thing when I be getting, but <laughs> <laughs> you'll be surprised at the stuff that come in my inbox. But yes, but it's just, no, 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 no. Uh -uh. I don't ever want to give off that vibe though. So yeah. I hear you. How do you feel about when, when women say, uh, he shouldn't look at me like that. He need to have, more respect for himself or why is he staring at me like like, like how do you, you talking about uh a woman talking about a man staring at her yeah or you know he i can wear what i want to so and as a, i'm just using that as an example you know say her butt is halfway hanging out you know and she's uh -huh. like why are you looking at me you know that whole thing like i mean well sis <laughs> Your butt is hanging out. I mean, I will be looking at you too. I'm gonna look at you too, like girl. <laughs> you know, but um I hear a lot of women say that and I get where they're coming from, but I, I just wanted to hear from your perspective. I just feel like at the end of the day, men gonna be men. You have some men who are just creepy nasty, mm -hmm. you got some men who are respectful. I mean, and then I just feel like it's just some men are just they're just you know, they're just gonna be men. Mm -hmm. Um, and especially don't be a really pretty beautiful lady you got a nice shape yeah. you know it's they gonna definitely do the most but mm -hmm. again I feel like and I hate to say this because I don't want to be that person but how you dress sometimes you it, it will bring that attention and it's just and it just is what it is and some women like the attention some women enjoy it then you have some women that are just like nah I'm good you know whatever but again how you dress that that's all plays a part of how you are received and you know people's perspective perception perception of you <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah so what do you think what is the percentage of let's just say women who might dress a certain way for attention opposed to those who dress just because they they worked hard for their body what do you think is the percentage of women who dress for just for their attention? Like, what is that percentage? Do you think dress it's just like, for the what? attention? Yeah. See, <laughs> you give me a hard question. <laughs> You're I a straight mean, shooter, so. I know, but I got some, some of my, my girls, I know for sure they, I mean, they be online showing it up. And I know they're really confident. And they really don't be really studying the men, but it's like, I would say, okay, 
ask me the question one more time. Let me ask me the question one more time. Yes. So what percentage do you believe that women dress for For them. attention? Like Oh, what for what is what is the percentage opposed to women who dress for uh just because they're they're confident? They're not looking for the attention. Maybe they just work hard in the gym and You they know feel what? I'm gonna just say 50 50-50. 50-50. Okay. I'm gonna just say uh, even 50-50 because I feel like on social media, if you be scrolling, you can tell some of the women who really just want the attention. You can tell. Then there are some women who literally are confident within themselves and ain't really, you know, because and, and if you pay attention, if you go to their like comments and stuff, you can kind of see if they ain't responding. They don't care. You know what I'm saying? You think about it. They ain't, they, ain't, they ain't tripping about it. You know what I'm saying? But then if you got some, oh, thank you, baby, or, oh, you know, hearts. Or, and I'm not saying that's the case in everything, but you, right. you, you kind of know. You kind of know. Now I hear you. Yeah, because uh, there could be 500 comments and all these guys, is 500 men saying the same thing. And majority of the time on me, like, I respond back, especially if it's somebody like, oh, you look, I'm responding back to like the women who are my, I know, like I'll respond back to them or whatever. So, but yeah, I, I tread lightly on responding back to men. Mm. I tread extremely lightly with that. Um, because again, I don't want to give off that vibe as, I don't want to give false hope. That's my biggest thing. Mm. So I yeah. love that. You don't Yeah. want to, that's good. I like that. You don't want to give false hope. So, <clears throat> so since we're here, how do you know who to respond to when it comes to a man? Like, the thing I don't okay. but like this space that I'm in now yeah dating um because I'm currently dating somebody Mm yes I trade extremely lightly I, I because yeah I just I, I trade extremely lightly and even like I said I know we discussed this before um when we talked last time even even sometimes heart and stuff I, I'm cautious of that because that people feel like that's an opener to conversation so i just try to tread lightly and again I, you don't even there's women too they're crazy <laughs> so, you know what i'm saying so and i don't i wouldn't even you know put a gender on it i'm just with people period yes i i tread lightly because and i say that because i've had You know, I try to be that person. I don't ever want to be that person where they, I feel like, like, they like, oh, you know, I feel like I'm bigger, I'm better. Because that's not the case. I'm still Sierra from in, from the west side of Indianapolis, born and raised. You know what I'm saying? And so if if people, when, if, you know, talk to me, whatever, I try to talk back and stuff like that. But I've got, it's gotten to a point one time where this girl was dumping on me. And the, it was just exhausting and draining. And so I had to, like, I have to be really, I have to tread lightly with that. Because I don't want that type of situation. So, yeah. Mm Yeah. -hmm. yeah and, and that's good that you're still the same person because I know you know people know you they see you and, and you're following and stuff like that because I remember the first time I reached out to you I was like oh she responded because I was like my message is probably going to oh. be buried heck no I'm listen I try to tell people because the, the thing is people don't have to invite you on spaces like this and platforms people don't have to be nice and you know People don't have to be kind. People don't have to follow you. People don't have to support you. And what sense does it make if people are supporting me and I'm nasty and mean, or I'm just like, come on now, that ain't even, I, that ain't even right. You know what I'm saying? So it, that's what, I, like, when I be posting and I tell you, like, thank y'all so much for following me. Thank y'all so much for, so I mean that because I remember three, four years, four years ago, I was just starting my social media just because I was in a whole different state and I was depressed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. Mm -mm. I love that. That's I love it. I, I wanted to speak with you. Kind of wanted to, kind of veer off just a little Okay. bit because I want to. I want to talk What to you that about for this. me? Yeah, we talked about. Uh, well, there was a post that I saw in your stories about uh, if a man post. Or I don't know if you said if he was married or in a committed relationship. No, I didn't say a man. I said if your spouse or significant other. I didn't put the. I didn't put a gender Okay. on it. Okay. Okay. Got If your spouse or significant other heart eyes the opposite sex stories, 
is that cheating? That was the question. Okay. And and so in your opinion, because I don't think you responded. I don't know. Maybe. I never did. I just put the results. And surprisingly, it was more people that said, nah, it's just social media. And a lot of those people were men. So what a lot of those people were men. And so it was, I think it was like 56 or 57% that said it's just social media. And then the other 40 something was like, no, nah, that's cheating. Mm, interesting. But in that, in that, um, it's just social media. There were a lot of men who put that. Mm. So what, what did, what did you think about that? Considering that men said it's just social media. <laughs> what, what were your thoughts? Me. It's cheating to me. Like, again, I am big on respect in a relationship. If my man don't like it, I'm not doing it. And that's period. I, I When I'm in a relationship, I move how I would want my man to move. And on top of that too, again, I'm just big on respect. So there's no reason why. And, and so, and what was so funny about that was because men were trying to dissect. Well, if it's a picture of the kid, no, 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 no. I said no dissecting, no dialogue. It's yes or no. I don't care if it's a picture of her and her kids or vice versa. Why are we heart eyeing anything? Yeah. That's just me. Yeah. And again, it's, I'm just big on respect. Mm -hmm. So like, and like I had told this one guy, I said, so let me ask you this. If I hard, I hard eye this man who had his clothes on, but he was making seductive faces in his stories, that's okay? Mm -hmm. That's okay? Well, I mean, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just saying, we got to, yes or no? Say the dice. So what do you think? Yeah, I, I think it's cheating. Uh, I, I agree because and somebody gave me like a breakdown of this whole thing. Like if you just like somebody's picture, that's one thing. But the, the hard eyes, the hard eyes is 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 next level. For, for sure. You know, so because at, at one time people were being mad at their spouse or significant other or whoever, because they just like their picture. But I think the like thing is kind of more common now. So, as if, because you know, before we started recording, I told you I had my own experience in a relationship with my ex liking females' pictures, pictures, and wasn't even liking my pictures. I feel like, okay, if it's a picture of a half naked girl and she got a phone on and everything is out. <sighs> I mean, I know it's social media. I'm still kind of like. Mm. Like, really? Yeah. Mm hmm. Now, liking is one thing. But if you commenting the fire emojis, <laughs> oh, I'm going to break your nose. <laughs> oh, I got a cake bake for you, brother. Mm hmm. We're going to talk about that soon, soon as I talk to you. Because that's now that's way too far. Yeah. If you comment liking is one thing. OK, cool. Yeah. But you putting emojis under, under baby girl picture. Okay, I got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's next level. Uh, and like you said, it's all about respect because if it was that's vice it. versa, you know, that's it. Yeah, so that's I get it. And, and and taking that time to comment, I guess my thing is the whole psyche behind it. Like, there's the intent. Yeah, right. There, there's three hundred hard eyes. Right. There, there's three hundred other men that that like this picture or they comment it right so why would you comment after that 300th man like looking like a little thirsty dog yeah what makes you different than the other 300 men it's it, it's actually kind of embarrassing it is I it's, it, it's actually embarrassing mm -hmm. and you know I, I just I hate the fact that you know again like it is just social media but again it's the intent of some some of the stuff again, and it's just respect i'm just not gonna do that yeah I agree. so yeah mm -mm. i'm with you that's it <laughs> yeah that was an interesting <laughs> conversation piece because i'm like we gotta talk about this yes like i mean and it's so crazy because i even see people that i know their husbands 
be liking pictures. And I'm just like, mm, okay. It ain't none of my business. I just be like, mm, okay. I, you know, and, and I don't, and see, we can take it a step further and people will be like, well, that's just, you insecure. You this, you that. And to me, it, it's not really, to me, you, you can tell if a person's insecure. You can tell if a person's insecure. Again, I'm just big on respect. And I just feel like, it, it, I don't even say just men, women too. You can admire from a distance. Ain't no, I know you're going to look at other women's bodies. I know you're going to look at, you know, admire. Heck, I'm an admirer too. But I'm just saying, you don't have to go and be, do the extra stuff behind it. Yeah. I don't have to do that. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. Because, you know, some guys, they probably just hoping that that woman is going to respond to him. Yep. And, and and again, like I said, it goes back to that old. Cause so, you, say for example, the man hard eyes a woman, mm -hmm. thank you, babe, or thank you, boo. Then to me, that's the opener for possibility of conversation. So now we conversing back and forth. Cause trust me, I've had it happen. Some of these women's husbands in my inbox talking about some. I wish if only, if only what, bro? You married. I don't, you can't do nothing for me. And that's, and, and or I will say, well, what would your wife wish? <laughs> and and that's what I said, like, these men, it, not to be funny, but it'd be the married men. They will empty the clip. <laughs> I'd be like, I mean, more than a single man. I'd be like, my goodness, bro. But <laughs> it's just, I just don't want even when I'm in a relationship, I don't even respond back to DMs at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because again, it's respect. Mm -hmm. It's respect. If it ain't about business or whatever, we ain't gonna talk about. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Gonna talk about. I hear you. There was a, a guy who uh slid on my wife DM the other day. He's like, hey, beautiful. I was like, we we thought it was funny, but you know. It's but uh, but see that's that's good that y'all have that communication where, you know what I'm saying? Where you can talk and, you know, y'all can chuckle together and do whatever. It's, it's when you start moving a little funny and you don't, and I'm not saying she got to show you every deal because you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But again, it's just respect for me. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you a hundred percent. Cause a lot of times guys think it's okay, but when a woman do it, then all hell break loose, you know? <laughs> Double standard, right? <laughs> I, yeah. I want to, uh, I want to let's let's do this bonus round. I want to do okay. the era uncut. Now we talked about some of this stuff last time, but I have some new questions, so okay. I want to get the feedback on some things. Okay, okay. So first one, we're just kicking it. Uh, there's a autobiography that they're about to cast a crew for your life. Which actress will play Sierra LeVon? Oh my gosh. You know, I'm just gonna I love me some Nia Long. Nia Long. <laughs> Nia Long. Yes. That's what's up. That's Nia what's Long. Up. Nia's classy for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. What's the biggest mistake you see men make when it comes to dating? Ooh, I would say communication. Can you expound on that <laughs> communication? Let's talk about it. I say communication and just being honest because, again, and dating is already complicated. We, I feel like humans just make dating complicated, period. <laughs> but in the dating process, I feel like, because me, I'm having the conversations up front. What are you looking for? Like, are you just looking for a friendship? Or are you looking for something long term? Turn it into marriage? Because I don't want to waste your time. And a lot of times, you know, men, they, I'm, let me speak for myself. Mm -hmm. Men be infatuated at the fact that you're in my proximity. So then when I provide you with my requirements, you really can't meet them. But you enjoy the fact that you're in my space, but you don't want to lose me, so you'll breadcrumb me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So communication and just being honest. Then on top of that, too, flip side of that, 
you have some men who, um, you know, they're dating multiple people but can't be honest with you. Mm. Just keep it real. Mm-hmm. If we don't, if we're dating with like that, let's just make sure we, I know that so that way I'm not giving, putting all my eggs in one basket. You know what I'm saying? While you out here got your eggs in a few baskets. <laughs> yeah. Just saying. Yeah, let's keep it real. For real. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I think from what I'm seeing, and this is just from my perspective, I think some guys, not all, but I think some guys are a little more, a little more open as far as what they want. Some guys, not all. Because I know yeah, I agree. Mean, you know, I agree. Uh, just because I think dating is a little more laxed. I think it's a little more relaxed now. It's like not mm-hmm. too much pressure. I don't agree. You don't agree? No. You think there's a lot of pressure? It is. Yeah. I, I do feel like it's a lot of pressure with dating, especially nowadays. I think in my age range, mm-hmm. um, again, because like I said too, first off, it starts off with these expectations and you got to think about it. You got two people coming from trauma relationships. Then you're trying to come together and then you're trying to make sure you're this and trying to make it. it it's just, it's a lot going on. Mm. When I just like, I be trying to tell people like, you know, especially with dating, you know, I ain't like the guys that I'm dating now, we've been off and on since 2021. Okay. Mm. And I had to tell him, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm not here to hurt your heart. Like I promise you I'm not. And because he kind of had like a little wall up or whatever, like I had it like, and I think a lot of time, my biggest thing for a man that I'm dating and I'm getting serious with is I want him to make sure that he, I want him to feel comfortable enough. And I want to create a space for him to be vulnerable. Mm-hmm. I want to create that space for him that he feels safe with me. He feels secure with me because I think a lot of times us women, we say we, you know, we doing this, but we got too much of this and we really ain't about that creating that space because we nagging and we this. So, yeah. Really, I'm, I'm with you 100 percent. And again, that's not all women. But like you say, a lot of times women be like, I want to create that safe space. But if you say something that you don't agree with. Nope. Got too much mouth. And sometimes, and I ain't even trying to be funny. And this is coming from me, yeah. like, because I got a mouth on me. And it it takes, sometimes I have to be like, oh, I have to, I have to get it together. Because mm-hmm. like my mama used to, my, well, she tell me, or my auntie, I'm sorry. Don't know my, no, no, no woman to talk too much. Yeah. Your mouth, <laughs> your mouth. So yeah, I'm trying to. Well, shout, shout out shout out to you there so do you just kind of you, you catch yourself do you like kind of hear yourself and then you like i need to reel it in it ain't even that it's just when i want to respond i'll be like i'm like you know what babe you got it i'm like you, you know what babe you got it and then sometimes he'll tell me he'll be like fix your face like the other day he was on the phone he was like stop frowning why are you frowning and it's just having my face and tell the person i'll be like okay but like you know, the biggest thing for us is we just have fun. Yeah. We just have so much fun. Yeah. Like, that's just what it is. We just have so much fun. And that's what I enjoy the most because we just have fun. For sure. Love it. Love it. Fill in the blank. My last relationship taught me. <laughs> <laughs> My last relationship taught me. Ugh, there's so much stuff I can say. <laughs> but I am uh, for real. Um, My last relationship taught me and i know this is so cliche but Mm -hmm. when they show you who they are believe them Mm -hmm. because i really didn't want to believe it that he was like that i dang near was like trying to beg him to get back with me Mm -hmm. and my best friend she was like you know she was just going in because she don't like him but (laughs) for real but you know when they show you believe them Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times we be trying to have our love to overshadow the red flags or whatever. We be like, no, they can change. They can change. But really, they crazy. <laughs> yeah. Or they might not. They might not change for you. They might be willing to change for somebody else. It depends on 
the person too. You know what I'm saying? I, I think sometimes because I know for me, I I've I've learned a lot about myself just from my last marriage. Mm. I was like, oh, I was like, yeah, because the person I was then is I'm totally different now. Oh. Like, I married at 24. I mean, I'm I'm 47 uh, now. And yeah. you know what, too? I bet you your wife now, she brought out a different side of you. Mm hmm. Yeah. And I love to hear that. And I, that's what I think, too. I think certain people just bring out certain stuff in the person. And it just and again, it ain't no shade. If if they for you, they for you. If they not, then it's OK. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's good. I yeah. love to hear it. Yeah, because I think sometimes it's hard for us to to deal with that reality that this person yep. really don't want me anymore. Yep. So that's that's true, because that's that's exactly that was my story. Yeah. That was my story. So, yep, that's true. Yeah. Last question. OK. Is it easier to love yourself or someone else? Ooh. It's definitely easier to love somebody else. Explain. Let's I, talk about it. I say that because a lot of times <clears throat> in relationships, sometimes you be so engulfed trying to make sure you satisfy it and pleasing the person, you neglect yourself. You're not even trying to make sure you in the right head space because you so be trying to make sure, oh, I don't want them to leave me. Oh, I don't want them to do this. Like, you know, but you're neglecting yourself, your self-worth. Self-respect, self-love, because you're so busy trying to make sure that you're doing everything you can to, uh, to please them so they won't leave you. But then they leave you and then you back. You know what I'm saying? Now you got to pick up the pieces and try to get yourself back together. So that's why. And then they leave you. That stuff hurt. Mm -hmm. Your heart's broke. You depressed. Ain't eating. And you know me, I love to eat. <laughs> Oh yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it's it's definitely I say loving somebody else. Mm -hmm. Respect, I respect that for sure. What I think that think? happens to a lot of women too when it comes to relationships. Like women, women love hard for sure. Oh, for sure. I just like I by night, uh, you know, by nature we're just nurturers. Mm -hmm. So you know, we always and I don't know if you know if you like me, I'm the person like if I'm dating you, I'm in a relationship, whatever with you. I want to make sure you're okay, you're taken care of. Like I'm going, I'm the person that's leaving the little cards and the thoughtful gifts, and you know that's me. So, yeah. and then my fill up feelings get hurt, then I turn into whew, Brandy from a thin line between love and hate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that's that's yeah. I I hear you because, and, and I say this humbly, uh, and, and I believe I give a hundred and ten percent to my marriage and to my family and my kids and my wife every day. I can't match the love that my wife give to, to me. Oh, for real. Like I, I, I can't match it. I'm yeah. I, that nurturing is real. Yeah, yeah, for real. And, and it's amazing when you find somebody who literally just wants to make sure you are okay, just take care of you. And you know what I'm saying? It, that's that's the best thing ever. So shout out to wifey. Yeah. You know, I love y'all. I love y'all story anyway. So shout out to wifey. <laughs> For sure. I mean, she I we post I posted a reel the other day and she was cutting my hair and I was like, Uh-huh. I seen it. I oh, think okay. I it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, this is regular stuff. Like before I get on air, and for and for her to know, she's like, I'm trying to make sure that you look your best presentable because you <laughs> you represent us. But but that's the type of person that you need in your corner though. Somebody who's gonna look out for you. And I tell people all the time when you dating people, they're a representation of you. So if you go out looking crazy, I'm like, girl, did you see Sierra Man? I'm like, what's going on with you? <laughs> so that that's what's up. That's amazing. Yeah, for sure. Sierra, thank you so much for your time. I know you're a busy woman. Yes. You have a lot of stuff going on. Thanks for <laughs> coming back. For being well, thank together. you for inviting me back. I appreciate it. I was excited to come back today. I was. I was excited. I kept telling. I was telling my coworkers, like, I got an interview today, so I got to make sure I'm in my room. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me back. I don't take it lightly. I'm so serious. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let everyone know how they can get in touch with you. 
Well, my name is Sierra Levine, and you are more than welcome to follow me on Instagram, Sierra. It is two underscores, I believe, Levon, L-A-V-O-N. I'm on Facebook, Sierra Levine, but I'm probably not going to accept you because that's really like a little closed thing. And then you can follow me on TikTok. It is Sierra Levon at Sierra Levon as well. But um, I tell people, stay with me on Instagram because Instagram, that's what I really work a lot is my Instagram because, you know, my people love me there. So you follow me, I'll follow you back. For sure, for sure, Brave Hearts community. You heard it here, so make sure you follow Sierra. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Share this with a friend because you never know who needs to hear conversations like this. Look, share this in your group chat. Don't just share it. Share it with your friends because your friends might need it too. <laughs> if you are listening to this via podcast, make sure you leave a rating and review. By doing so, it puts you in a drawing for a free Amazon gift card. Who, who doesn't like free stuff? Love it. This is Sean Heineman with special guests. Sierra LaFarge. <laughs> All right, Brave Arts community, take care.